Nicholas from Nick's Toy Corner and today we are making cookies and here's my daddy. Hello. So what type of cookies are we going to make? It jam cookies and choc choc chocolate biscuit cookies. Are you still looking at me? So bud, what do we need to cook cookies? It, so this is all what we need and this is what we put in the cookies. So what do we need to put in the cookies? So vanilla essence, plain flour, white sugar, chocolate chip, jam and butter. So let's get started. So a few hours ago, we took the butter out of the fridge and we've let it go soft. What do you do with the butter? So we got all our butter in our mixing bowl. We've got our butter in our mixing bowl. And as you can see, it's really, really soft. It's really soft. You can just go through it. Which is a good thing. Now we need sugar. We need the same amount of sugar as we do butter. So that's about 500 grams of sugar. We've added our sugar and our butter together. Now we need to mix it up. This butter is so sticky. Yep, the butter is sticky. Come on. I need that off my spoon. Well, shake it off your spoon. Much more better. an old-fashioned way of making cookies so once we've got our sugar and our butter mixture looking um, looking all mixed what we need is we need some vanilla essence we need about four or five drops of vanilla essence a little bit more up too much. too much. That's all right. Ooh, I about That's all right. We... When all the sugar sticks to the butter, it's good, and it means like you need you can add the next ingredient. So we've got it pretty good mixed up there. Now what we need is we need flour. some flour. So now I'm going to add the flour. Keep on adding flour flour until it gets the mixture of crumbling in your hand. So, Dad, can you tell me when to stop? Just keep adding flour. Okay. That'll be enough. More, more. About half the bag. Like that much. More. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's pretty much. Okay, so are you going to mix it up? As you can still see, is very, very sticky. So we need to add more flour. Flour! So, as you can see, the flour is starting, the mixture is starting to crumble. Sort of crumble apart, which means we might have nearly enough flour. So this is the fun part. We get rid of the wooden spoon for a bit. Oh, come on. We get rid of the wooden spoon. And now... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So you just want to... Why can't I lick the spoon? You just want to grab it, the mixture, and squeeze it together. Just like slime. Playing with slime or Play-Doh 
or anything like that. And see how we're getting it now into sort of like a dough? Yeah. This is sort of what we want. It's sort of like a crumbly dough. Where it sticks together, but if you squeeze it, it sort of... Crumbles. It crumbles apart like magic sand. Magic sand? Do you know magic sand? Yeah. So, first we've got our mixture, and... It's perfect because it just crumbles out of my hand. You want it to crumble out of your hand. So now we need to put it into balls on our trays. So let's get started. Let's get started. So what we want to do, we want to take a, 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 a tablespoon sized ball of dough and we want to roll it round into a ball, push it flat, and stick it on the tray. Okay. So we made some biscuits, and we still got some dough left, and now we're going to flatten the biscuit. What we're doing with flattening the biscuits is we're trying to get them all the same thickness so they all cook in the same amount of time. So, yep, just... If they're already thin, you don't need to flatten them out at all, okay? So if they're a bit fat, you just flatten them out with the cookie. Yep. Okay, there we go. So these three rows are our plain biscuits. These four rows we're going to turn into our jam drops. And how we do that? We open up the biscuit. You take your thumb and you put a hole in the middle of the biscuit. Then we get our bottle of jam and, put them in. and we put it on the tray. Then we need to get our two teaspoons. And you're taking a teaspoon full of jam or jelly and then you're just scooping it into the, the top of the biscuit. Yeah, use this biscuit to so put it up and then scoop the jam into the center of the biscuit and just tap it down so it's flat. Okay, here you go. Here's your spoons. Your two spoons. Start with them. So we have our plain biscuits, our jam drop biscuits, and the last biscuit will be choc, choc chip biscuits. Now we take our dough that we've got left over and we're going to add chocolate chips to it. So we're going to take in some chocolate chips. And crunch it and bunch it and munch it. So we take in chocolate chips. Then smash it. And now we need to mix it around. So as you can see, we now have our mixture and we've got our chocolates mixed in to our mixture. So... One fell out. Doesn't matter. So now we do the same thing as just the normal biscuits. We take a roll. And there we go. Chop chip biscuits. There you go. Chop chip biscuits. Now while Nicholas does that, I'm going to put the oven on about 180 degrees. Wow. Exact cooking temperature, I don't really know, but I just put it on 180 degrees until they're browned. What does brown mean? Well, until they turn brown. What? That's not fair. What? Then it'll, then it'll be all like... Like light brown, buddy. Oh, not just, like... It means they're cooked then. Not like that, that brown. Yeah, not like black, like burnt. Into now, the oven they go. this top one won't go on a tray. Put it 
Slide it above. Yeah. Under. Oh, sorry. Why not on the train? Because it goes in a slide, it doesn't. So there we go. Our biscuits. Our biscuits. Let's close up the oven. And wait. And wait. So the cookies has finished cooking. It took about 20 minutes. And um, in that 20 minutes, my mom gave me a new haircut. How do you think of my haircut? So now we're going to get the cookies out, put on the protection gloves so I don't get burnt. It's really nice and crunchy, and uh, the chocolates taste really nice. I tried the jam chips. Make sure you get the jam.